Okay, so uh, here we are actually at the uh, you know uh, TypeScript uh, playground, and uh, there are of course like um, a bunch of things that we can uh, check around with. So I think the first thing is uh, if I just uh, write you know uh, let x equal to ten, which is you know a valid JavaScript code here. Um, I hope like mm -hmm, the font size is visible to you guys. I will actually increase that a little bit. Um, yep so if i write like uh, something like let x equal to 10 and as you can see the output is let x equal to 10 so the left side is basically i'm writing typescript code and the right side is uh, it's generating corresponding javascript from that and as you as, as i discussed that anything that that's valid javascript is valid typescript uh, so you can write something like you know uh, function uh, uh, you know uh, uh, function hello and uh, it takes like a name and then uh, we write like something like you know console dot uh, log uh, hello uh, plus the name and so on. Uh, as soon as we start doing that i think a few things you start seeing uh, typescript starting to complain about is that you know it says that parameter name implicitly has any type now uh, uh, when you're uh, working with typescript the uh, awesome thing is that there are a lot of different checks that you can turn on and off for example if i remove this no implicit any check uh, this is not actually an error anymore there is uh, simply a warning but it's not an error anymore as you can see uh, it gets converted exactly to the same thing in javascript um, the uh, funny stuff is that you know if i uh, set my target to uh, something like es um, uh, 5 which is an old version of javascript but it is supported by browsers like internet explorer 9 okay uh, so like browsers like internet explorer 9 they don't support the latest version of javascript which is es 2017 they support es 5 so if i select that as you can see the code will change a little bit so it becomes var x equal to 10 instead of let x equal to 10 and even if I declare a const y equal to 20, uh, so even consts are uh, treated as bars, not as uh, const because const does not work in ES5. And if I try to change the value of y, y equal to, uh, you know, um, say 25, I do. Uh, as you can see, uh, source code does get generated for that. The JavaScript source does get generated for that. And this is all valid JavaScript. But there is an error on this side, which says that, you know, cannot assign to y because it's a constant. So uh, that's the thing, uh, basically you can take uh, a TypeScript and you can convert to JavaScript and while it's converting, it will show you some errors at the compilation level. It will still generate the JavaScript code, uh, you know, uh, which of course, uh, you know, essentially this code, if you write like this, this line should give an error, but this line gives you an error at the compilation level. But if you still want to, you know, override it and still want to compile forcibly the corresponding JavaScript and run that. So this is valid JavaScript, which will actually run. Uh, because uh, back in ES5, which is an old version of JavaScript, const actually did not used to exist. Um, but usually uh, we'd set something like ES2016, uh, which uh, is uh, a version of JavaScript that is mostly supported by Node.js and most of the browsers that we currently use, people are using. Uh, so that's ES2016. And if you set to ES2016 and we try to convert this code, you will see that, you know, uh, in this case, you know, this error that it says cannot assign to y because it's a constant. If you actually run this code inside your browser, like if I, uh, you know, uh, open up an empty page and if I uh, go to my, uh, you know, uh, console and if I actually type this code and if I press enter, you will see that there is actually an error in valid assignment to const y. So we can't create a const and assign some values into it. Uh, that will fail even in, in basic JavaScript as well, not just in TypeScript. Uh, because that's a feature, uh, const is a feature that has been added into JavaScript. It's available in uh, the ES uh, 2016 version that's available in most browsers and Node.js right now. So uh, this is a place like the uh, TypeScript uh, playground is a place where on the left side you can write TypeScript code and you can see uh, the corresponding JavaScript generated. You can decide what type of JavaScript you want to generate and uh, you can decide what rules you you know uh, want uh, to you know uh, kind of uh, check for uh, right now it's using a very strict set of rules uh, it's uh, checking for most of the rules and it's using the strict mode so uh, it's the strictest uh, level of uh, compilation level checks that typescript is doing uh, right now and it's uh, tweaking them okay 
So in the next few videos, we will just see uh, like, you know, the very basics of uh, TypeScript that is, you know, setting up data types and, you know, basic objects and functions. And then we'll move on to, you know, more complex things that's possible uh, using uh, TypeScript. Okay.